Hi everybody, Lorraine here. Today I'm going to try a kiss pour. I've seen a lot of people do these and I want to make an attempt at it myself. I'm going to do it in a fashion where I have white in one cup and I have my colors mixed in the other cup. So I'm going to start by using, I'm going to, I have two blues and two pinks here. I have an Anita's Island blue. I have a Master's Touch Ultra, excuse me, Ultramarine. I have a Master's Touch Light Magenta here, if I can get the lid off of it. There we go. And I have a Deco Art Metallic Berry. And I also have a Naples Yellow, just to add a little contrast in there. So I'm going to kind of go in and start out with my ultramarine. I'm going to put in the light magenta. I think I'll put the yellow. I don't want you. Mm, yellow next to pink isn't a good idea. So I'm going to put in the island blue. Some of the Naples yellow. Something stuck in the tip here. And my metallic berry. I'm going to do another quick round of my colors. Light magenta. Island blue. A little bit of Naples yellow. And some of the berry. These are three ounce cups, so I'm sure that I'm going to have more than enough paint here to do this. And from what I understand, the idea is just get a little spout going on the cup, get the paint moving, and it's supposed to kiss in the middle. Just like that. Oh, that's really cool. I have not added anything to these paints like uh, Dimethicone or um, Silicone. It's just mixed with the Floetrol paint and some of them have a little bit of water. I move up here just a little bit because I feel like I'm not in the center. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I have paint left, but I'm going to stop because that looks like a lot of paint. Nice wing, kind of wing effect here. All right, I'm going to move it around. Bring it up this way. Back to the center. Bring it down to that corner a little bit. Trying to bring it back to the center before it spills off any edge here. Um, not sure that I have success with that. <laughs> I see it's coming off the bottom towards my left hand there. Bring it up.
pretty interesting lines with those colors together. That island blue kind of peeking out underneath on that side is pretty interesting looking. Let's set it down for a minute here, change my grip. towards this corner. Oh, I wish I could save this side right here. I don't have an edge catcher or anything handy. Bring it back. hand down here, see if I can, can save this from all leaving me. So I like the colors, I don't want to lose them all. Oh, that worked pretty good. Set it down, I have to wipe my hand there. Try and bring it back down towards this corner here. Those lines stretch. Get rid of some of the white. Ooh. That I like. Bring this corner down just a little bit more. Bring it back, making a mess. Wow, pretty neat. Put some of these colors up here on this side. Looks like there's some cells coming out, even though I didn't put anything in there. Some uh, interesting little cells here. There's some in this. Give it a quick torch. Got the little air bubbles popping up. That a little cells popping out. Kind of give it a nice fringy effect. Some little tiny just like ghost cells going on in this white part right here. Okay, I'll bring you down, give you a close-up look of it, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, here we go, looking at it from my viewpoint, bringing in close to the bottom left corner, bringing up to the top, the top left corner, some pretty neat looking cells in there, bringing over to the side. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like my videos, please subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks again. Bye.